Well, despite a gain in December, existing home sales dropped to their lowest level in 13 years last year, 2010, as the heartache continues for the housing sector. Is there any hope for recovery this year? We're going to ask this gentleman right now, Rodney Anderson, Rodney, excuse me, Anderson, Executive Director of Supreme Lending uh, and author of Credit 911. He joins us right now. It's great to have you in studio. Well, it's great to be here. Both of you, I normally have via remote, and you both were kind enough to be in New York. All right, this, this, the existing home sales, depressing for 2010. I've seen a lot of economists come out today and say that they think that this year is going to be worse. Housing is in a crisis mode. Although the top line number of existing home sales looked good, mm. here's what's going on. Interest rates have went up the last 60 days. People are paying more at the pump the last 60 days. And the, top, and the budget line for gas goes higher. And what's really happening is state Local governments are cutting jobs. They just went into session in January. And when do you ever, when have you ever heard, ladies, a firefighter, a police officer, or a teacher ever get laid off in the past? Mm. Those jobs aren't safe. And I picked up the paper, read the Dallas Morning News the other day. In the city where, where my office is, they're laying off people. They have never laid off people in the, in the whole world. Camden, New Jersey, California, this is the problem with housing. And this thing's going to be a long road to recovery until we get solutions. Do you, do you agree with the forecast? I mean, Ronnie's got Again, it's kind of a dark picture. Yeah, well, I'm in California, in Northern California, and my question to you is that I just heard from you know, my real estate agent this morning, and she was saying that they've got buyers on the fence, jump, ready to jump, and they're, and they're jumping off the fence, so ready to buy. It doesn't make any sense to me either, so, so what do you make of that? Well, because of the rates moving higher, everybody's projecting uh -huh. that rates will continue to move, so you'll get that jump from them. But the lending guidelines continue to tighten around America. It's a major problem still. What's, if you look at all the numbers, auto sales are down, and they're down about 30%. The stock market's 20% off its all-time high. New home sales are down 60 to 70%. We have to get financing to that middle class of America, middle America up by 30 percent, housing will start reco recovering. But I will tell you, what we need to also do is, you know, we've all heard about the 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Mm -hmm. I think that is absolutely the worst mortgage that people can take. I think, why? It, I know, I think we need to, to do <laughs> 15. Have one, so no, let me tell you why. We need to get to 15-year fixed rate mortgages. And the reason being is after five years on a $200,000 loan, you still owe $186,000. Yeah. You don't have enough money to pay your realtor fees, the title company fees. So I think when they designed a, a, the 30-year mortgage a long time ago, it was an exotic mortgage. And I really think the Federal oh. Reserve, hold on, the oh, Federal okay. Reserve <laughs> needs to cut interest rates on 15-year <laughs> Raise them on 30 year and get everybody going there because you build equity. Rodney, a lot I don't want to leave our viewers on this depressing note. So yeah. give me something good. Tell me one good piece of news that you see happening this year. Interest rates cannot rise that much. And the reason being, just like we've talked about, housing is still going to stay there. A lot of people are on adjustable rate mortgages. They're going to be able to stay there simply because the Fed is going to have to keep rates lower. Everybody's projecting a lot higher bond prices. I see the 10 year staying between 3 and 4% for the next year. Rodney, at least you smile when you deliver hey. the bad news. So I at least appreciate there that. Rodney, it's go. great to have you. Thank You're in you. New York, by the way.